hairdo. Morning, afternoon, good evening, wherever the floor you are. Welcome to what I'm going to dub the Random Ramble Adventures. And yes, I have had a trim. <laughs> but today you find me in my old hometown of Chorley. Where you will now find, well, I've been there for quite a while, but it's been here about as long as I moved out. So, the new cinema complex and everything, well, I say new, it's new to me. I haven't exactly spent all that much time up here before, and something that I'm probably still never really going to get used to is seeing all the fizzy knitting, all together with its actual new sceneries and overhead power cables for the trains. Because whilst I was here, um, all that was not there. This line over here was not electrified when I lived here. And all this lot didn't exist either. All this lot wasn't built. <coughs> so as some of you know, I've been um, documenting some of the stuff to do with Wigan, obviously. So, uh, you know, this is what they built here. For their new um, ideas and everything. So they built all of this. Yeah, we've now got Calico Lounge and Real Cinema and I think there's a Adventure Golf and all sorts of other stuff inside there. So I'm going to give you a quick look around the ski. So I'll pause a second and then we'll have a wander around the outside. Because I'm not going inside, just going to wander around the outside. So while you guys were all on a quick pause, just while crossing the road and stuff. Also, don't really want to get too many people in on all of that lot. So. The slope was all built in the past few years, in the past like, five years or something. And I moved out late 2018. So all this is new. I knew this was here because I've been past it a few times, but never actually stopped to have a proper look at it. But this is the old area which was built in the 90s. So there is a little bit of a thing to do with how it was in Wigan, but not the same because this is totally different. It doesn't have all of the you know, the proper undercovers and everything, but I mean, there yeah, you go, like adventure golf, there's a bowling and restaurants and everything upstairs. And so there's a lot there. Obviously, you've got that restaurant there, and then the old, well, as I say, old market walk. That's the 90s market walk. That's the late 2010s area. But, I mean, a lot of stuff has changed down there since I was here as well. But, some things are the same, some things are different, but still got booths. Where it says the Anytime Fitness, that used to be a curry house. So that's uh, a bit of a change. And obviously, you've got spoons. Everywhere's got to have a spoons. And you've got, you know, obviously M&S for the food court, Sports Direct. You're tripping over bloody Sports Directs in most places. Obviously, there's a pound land and other stuff. So, it is insane, but majority of the looks like majority of the cinema building and everything is up on that top floor and probably spreading towards here whereas I can see where some of the um, bowling area and the escape uh, adventure golf upstairs wish I could go in but I just can't I don't to do that but I'll give you a quick quick walk through here so see if I can speed walk while I've got these giant look ruddy boots on but we'll give you a speed walk so you don't have to look at my face. But obviously, Peacocks has been there forever. She's on, that's been there forever. Uh, we was the Kids Emporium. That was where Game used to be, which I suspect Game is now up in Sports Direct. Over the phone. Yeah, that's been there for a long time. But that also used to be, it's either one of these two, one of these two. So a phone place on Vodafone used to be Thornton's Chocolates. b &Ms, they took over where Woolworths was. I'm probably going to get copyright claimed here. I don't really care. But BTE and also O2 Shop. There is always mobile phone shops in every town. Designer clearance. <laughs> Yes, good old butchers. Nice to see that there's a butchers around. Clinton's cards, that's gone. 
looks like what was hairdressers that's also gone body care is still around new look yeah uh, card factory now what most people probably won't remember is well card factory is and the two travel shop that actually used to be a deep pan pizza place back when it all opened i can remember that far back because i'm an old git now, market, this has had a lot of work done to it over the years. I mean, a lot of work done to it. I would show you one of the old places where I used to work, but there's no point walking all the way down there because that place is now closed. So that's one more pawnbroker's gone. Do a quick walk ski, walk ski down the central aisle of the market. So, obviously, got material stalls, a load of all your esotericas and clothing. and stuff with more clothing little side shops everywhere I think there's a couple of like little eateries and mini like bars down there more stuff over there there's a pie stall over there there's probably a candy stall over there you know you get your handbags and everything and all that lot with all the mess that's going on in Wigan this place is absolutely thriving and I know I'm definitely going to get copyright claimed but I don't care but shoe stalls it's all here. All the stuff that you would normally want, it's all here. But, and with it being Tuesday market day as well, there are more market stalls everywhere. Now, I will give you a quick route going this way, because there's something, or things that now no longer exist, that I would love to show you here. So, as you can see where that car park is, right there. So that car park over there, there used to be a couple of good old buildings over here. Now, all the ones that are on this side, so where those planters are, stuff like that, that burnt down. So, there used to be quite a few shops on this side, but good chunk of it, a fair chunk of it, Burnt down over here to what about here well where that post is over there so like where that uh, like electric box thing is there it all burnt down to about there and then the rest of it beyond here or probably like from where that bike is there you know that was like where the other bit was and some of it all burnt down and then you knocked what was a nice building had some good offices in it and then on that bit where it's a bit higher there where it's a little bit higher that used to be an old Odeon cinema complex now there did used to be it was there well years ago it was an Odeon cinema it then became a uh, bingo hall so there was stuff that was there It'll just be a little bit a little bit you know, as I show you the height, because from this wall, pretty much, yeah, where that wall is, that was the old bit, and then you had all of like the older car park that was here for a while, and then throughout all of this, there used to be a nice Art Deco-ish building, which used to be an Odeon, which I'm now walking on. What is the old former area for it? And it all used to go across here. But now it's all one big lot of car parking which after they've removed a lot of the car park from market walk and everything for that building complex up there obviously you're going to need some parking aren't you but still it is a bit mental there's a lot of stuff around here and this is kind of how you would sort of do it all there uh, there's town hall Georgian, and then Behind that, I'm not going to go up there, but behind that, as you can see, there is in all its brutalistic glory, I'm not keen on it, but there is the police station, the brutalist concrete weird slab thing. Brutalism has its place, but I don't really think it really needs to be the Going down that way, past Applejacks and some of the others, is Ashley Park. 
I'm not really fit enough to wander all the way around there. But I've got obviously one of the old churches, St. Lawrence's, I believe, which is, you know, at least at minimum about 800 years old, maybe close to 850 years old. There's the bell tower and some of the stuff that's over there. So that is um, getting on a bit. So there's a lot of stuff over there. Uh, quite a lot of this has changed as well because some of the banks that were here have all gone. So there used to be a bank, there used to be a bank. Back least, yeah, more bank. There's three banks in one go, it's gone. And then what was Argos? One of the places that was it, and then you've got another one, another one, and another one. You've got more barbers and stuff hiding behind everything. You know, obviously, there's a bones bag. Best bags in Chorley. Bowens. So that was going to be one big wiggy, you know. <laughs> I have to say that, but, you know, it's a bit mad when you think about it. And this is busy on that, isn't it? Good. If any of you have anything to say, stick it down below. If you have any suggestions of where to do the next random ramble adventure, then stick a location down below. I might go at some point and actually go to Bury. But then again, I've got a few friends that I might even go see at Bury as well. But, you know, obviously Halifax is still there. What was a bank has now gone and turned into the post office. And where Argos was has now become a... Uh, Furniture store. <sighs> Halifax is still there. What was the coffee shop has now become another corner shop off licensee place. Another one which is probably some of you that may have seen some of the older photography that I did about what, 15 years ago will probably remember St Mary's. And I did have a video of that years ago, which I've lost, which had the bells in full chime when they were doing a full peel. That was uh, quite actually quite the sound. Yeah, stuff it, we might as well go around here because we're not so far from the old store. And then once we get to there, well, we'll probably bid it, bid the adieu. I don't really uh, want this one to be too long because then on the last one you can probably put people off being over 20 minutes long but you know all sorts of stuff pet store and vets this is where the old JJB was so any suggestions stick it down below any comments stick them down below if you want to help with the quest to the 500 and give us a civil double if you really like it smash it smash that like obviously I've got to keep saying that if you have any suggestions of places to go as I've said put them all down below if you want to share all the madness and share the madness around it always helps it grow and then my whole work from over five years ago anyway so I will take a few and then view and then we will end it all up here so if you have anything to say as I've said about three or four times now stick it down below any places that you think would be good for a random ramble adventure stick it down below like share subscribe all that good stuff Peace. Goodbye. Might as well do some bonus filming while I'm down this way now anyway. But hey, let's be let's get on to this. So with all of the news and everything and the developments that's gone on. So apparently wherever the um, mysteries of the uh, hotel is gonna be, it's going to be a Hilton. So there's apparently going to be a Hilton somewhere on this site. No idea whereabouts it is. It's probably going to be kind of like end up being most of kind of like that side of the market hall possibly. Or maybe kind of like more centre. 
not quite sure because I, I can't remember whether they said it was going to go on the plans. Um, yeah, I do know that there is a few other uh, little bits and pieces going on as well. Uh, clearly, not much has happened, but we still have the uh, giant chasm of everything over there. There's no point really wandering around everything, but I'll just give you a view of all of this. But yeah, so from what was here to this, to then some of the others, um, also, I know I'm going to be very late with it, but um, Optiplex has taken over the lease of the uh, cinema on Robin Park. So there's one good thing there, so we will finally have a cinema back again um, with all of that lot. Some of the other plans, I don't really know really what else some of the other ideas are, but I mean, this is insane and yes, they definitely are deep excavations. It's almost as bad as the excavations of the Nemesis. <laughs> Little clue there, little clue there is something which is coming up future. But um yeah but wherever that hotel is gonna go in the month of this lot and some of the other stuff, especially with like, you know, empty units in there as well. It is gonna be a bit weird. But you never know how that's all gonna work out and there is obviously like shoe zone in the Grand Arcade now and a few of the other things in there and quite a few other bits and pieces so uh, yeah this is coming on quite all right but this is definitely going to be massively delayed because uh, you know this was supposed to have been uh, started by now to build in what is the new market hall but clearly that isn't happening right now so uh, who knows how long that's going to take to bring a new market hall to fruition there is still a little bit of the uh, Tiny little bit of the old one hanging in there. But yeah, and you can also see the ghost outline of the staircase there as well. A little bit of history underneath your eyeballs. Not sure whether any of these deep excavations here or here or wherever is going to be for um, whenever or wherever the um, uh, archaeologists are going. No one's quite sure on that one, and even I'm not sure. Anyway. This is definitely good advice.